Hello all, hope you are doing good. Today we are going to see uh, Summer 20 feature that is flow. They have added a before trigger in this flow now. Let's see how uh, we can do that. For that I am going to take a simple use case to uh, just to create a record using the flow before the validation rule fire. So we'll take any object having a validation rule and let's see how we can utilize the full trigger to create a record when the records are coming with uh, at the exact criteria which when when uh, the validation rule fires let's see how we can handle the situation all right i have logged into the salesforce and i am in the account object uh let's go to the object details so i have added a validation rule here um, to see whether so this is my custom field whether uh, if it is active then this validation rule will fire and it will prevent users from creating a record with the status active uh, let's quickly check validation rule and status is active so yes we have this validation rule in place let's go to flows i am creating a new flow and i'm going to choose record triggered flow and create it and choose the object as account and, and the criteria here should be record is created yes as the at the time of record creation we have to use this and run the flow before the record is saved so it's a before trigger right so have to choose this option and then all right here okay let's drag this decision element and let's say check yes. So this is the decision element we have to add and then we have we don't have any uh, create records here but we can use this assignment element to create new records this one and if active yes so what what it is doing is like if you open so if the record is uh, coming with this value like uh, status equals active what then uh, we are doing the assignment as just we are changing it to null we are not choosing any value over here let's see whether it works I'm not sure. If not, let's debug together. See. Activate. Yes, it's activated. And we are in this in this page which still has this error right so let's see status is still active let's try to save it 
cool it got saved so if you go into the details so we don't have any uh, status over here so that's what our flow is doing right so whenever it is getting uh, the data with uh, the value uh, we are changing uh, through this assignment element and uh, we are saving it so this can be utilized mainly uh, at the time of integration right so uh, when uh, they are sending with some bad data or even if uh, they don't have uh, the data which is mandatory on our side we can uh, choose like uh, even we can give the value as uh, inactive here since active will be blocked by our validation rule we can choose inactive or some other values you can use play around with this right like, uh, in the in any fields and for uh, any criteria you can use this before trigger and we are not writing any code for doing this but yeah we are achieving it so that's that's all i wanted to share this one i i just played around uh, in the evening and i just wanted to make a video to show it to you guys and that that is it so yep let me know if you have any questions or if you have any uh, scenarios for this before trigger or me, like yeah uh, just let me know we can uh, learn together and that is it uh, let us meet in our next video until then stay in home and stay safe thank you bye bye